ordinarily for most people uh, <clears throat> the consciousness itself is not private or personal but on account of manifesting in the body and making use of the body in order to uh, enjoy experiencing huh? and then um, it identifies with the body you know it identifies with the body and becomes i am i am this person the conditioning and education and that particular identity becomes where the consciousness hangs out in that form i am the person so this is what i mean personal identity you see now through your own um mm, satsang let's put it like that you become aware also that the personal identity which for most people is deeply important even to the extent that here in satsang as we're beginning to look more deeply into what it is that we call ourself it's becoming increasingly clear that this person personality it's a kind of construct and it's not solid it's always changing so many factors are contributing to the way that it is experienced so you're coming to see that it is more a fiction than fact isn't it mm. so after that has been recognized then it's begin to lose its potency meaning that the consciousness is not uh, so mm, comfortable in that position of just being the person it's more aware of a broader space uh, mm, behind the, the mind this was what I'm asking. And nevertheless, sometimes the people say, "Yes, I know I am not the person anymore," but still, in interactions with other beings, it is seen that there's a lot of belief in the person, a lot of passionate identification. Even you look in the restaurants, the chai shop, people are deeply involved in the story of me, you know, and I did this and what. And next time in satsang, they are the absolute. <laughs> but in certain moments, they are deeply involved in this and uh, passionately. So this is why I ask, what about person, personal identity? 